Welcome to Telecommunication Facts, from this video tutorial, we are going to learn about core networks, if you have unable to subscribe the channel yet. Please subscribe now you will not miss any video. What is core network? In telecommunication, networks can be divided into two parts, access networks and core networks. As you can see from the image. Access networks is the part of the network which provide access to the mobile users and responsible for the network coverage. Access networks are consist of base stations, may denote as E node B in 4G networks. Core network is the heart of any telecom network, we call it as evolved packet core, EPC in 4G core networks. Core network provides services to all valid customers. It can be visualized as an interconnection of databases, gateway nodes, routers, and switches. From this video we are going to learn about major elements of the core network and their contribution to the network. We will discuss about home location register, visitor location register, equipment identity register, online charging system, offline charging system. Policy and Charging Rules Function and Policy and Charging Enforcement Function We will talk about the rest of the nodes in another video. Home Location Register As the name suggest, that is the permanent home for all the details for any subscriber. Here are some of the details stored as per each subscriber, Subscriber ID, we denote as, IMSI is the short term for International Mobile Subscriber Identity or MSISDN which is the mobile number you dial to call someone. HLR keep track of the current location of the subscriber, so your friends can track you and call, where you carry your mobile. And it has records of the services you have subscribed, HLR helps to authenticate the mobile when it try to attach to the network just after power on. Missed call alerts are stored when you are currently not available in the mobile network you get alerts when you attach to the network again. Visitor Location Register, VLR, it is a database located in MSC which is well known as Mobile Switching Center. There will be many MSCs in the network so each MSC will have one or multiple VLRs. Only the currently attached subscriber details are stored in the VLR, it holds subscriber details temporary. When you go to another area, your attached MSC may change, so the records from previous VLR will be erased and new VLR will be updated. Here are some details which will be updated in VLR. Temporary Mobile Subscriber Identity, TMSI, which is a temporary ID, it will change frequently, so no one will be able to track by its ID, Location Area Identity, is a number for the area which has defined by the telecom operator. It identify which area you are in, VLR keep record of current mobile status such as idle or busy mode. Equipment Identity Register, EIR, it stores IMEI number which is the short term for International Mobile Station Equipment Identity, this is the number of the mobile phone given by the manufacturer. Those IDs are categorized by the EIR register into three lists as follows. White list mobiles are the authorized devices. Black list, which contain devices which are unauthorized by the telecom operator. For an example, stolen mobile phones will be put into black listed category after you inform to the authorities. Gray listed ones are the devices which identified as risky and operator will investigate those for any irregularities. Online charging system, OCS. If you are a prepaid customer, you may have noticed that the telecom operator is charging you at the moment from your credit balance. OCS maintain connection with MSC, PCEF and SGSN in order to access billing related data. Main functions of OCS Subscriber account balance management, determine usage and charge accordingly, and transaction control. Offline charging system, OFCS it is the system which charge for the services used by postpaid customers. OFCS maintain connection with MSC, SGSN and CSCF in order to access billing related data. OFCS include functions such as charging gateway function, and charging data function, 
those are used to collect records for the billing function. Zero Policy and Charging Rules Function, PCRF, this is a software node which determine real-time policy rules in multimedia network. PCRF formulate rules for each subscriber, to determine how the traffic flows according to following conditions. PCRF passes formulated rules to the PCEF. Let's study about PCEF, which is the short term for policy and charging enforcement function. This is a deep packet inspection device, so this function is running on user plane. Let me explain what is user plane, in telecom networks there are two types of data. Control data and, user data. Control data is for the use of telecom operator in order to route user data, and manage proper network functioning. As the end users, what we need is user data, so, user plane can be think as a flow of user data. PCEF ensure subscriber traffic flow on user plane according to network policy. It is responsible for enforcement of two types of rules which are, Static configurations of PCEF and dynamic rules formulated by PCRF. That concludes this video tutorial. Please like and subscribe the channel. This is Telecom Facts. Thanks for watching. See you in another video.